other hand, most origin of fear to the popularly believed tales and myths of primeval and primitive imaginations. One of such tales and Myth is what Thalia Feldman in the article Corgo and Origin of Fear reports about the famous fearless Odysseus, who hitherto undaunted, fearless, turned tail and ran away when he met Golgo, who evoked in him primitive fears of the kind that men have dreaded since earliest time. But for those of us who are privileged to have the revelation of the maker of the heavens and the earth, the origin of fear is unambiguously known. Its cause is blatantly stated. And its consequences are clearly outlined. In the book of Genesis chapter 3 verses 1 to 13, the first human being on planet is engaged in an uncomfortable conversation with his creator who asks him where he was. And he said, I heard you come into the garden and I hid myself because I was afraid. Why were you afraid? Pastor Chancellor, I stand and remain standing. For correction, as I humbly argue that this is the first instant in non-mythical and non-mystical written history that the concept of and experience of fear is mentioned. At a certain point in time, the human being on earth heard the steps of his maker with whom he used to have conversation, lovely conversation, but he hid because he had disobeyed and disconnected himself from the maker himself. And that fear that made him to hide resulted, of course, from that behavior. Fear came as a result of sin. Fear was not needed in man's safety since there was nothing threatening him. That is why God commands us to get rid of it. I should be permitted to say that a lot of things that are still bringing fear into us today were there with Adam and Eve at the beginning, and they feared these things not. Lions were there, snakes were there, tigers, crocodiles, mosquitoes, dinosaurs, and man feared them not. But today, all these and many others have turned into almost irresistible sources of fear. Ladies and gentlemen, worst still, countless agents of fear that envelop our humanity keep on increasing and worsening as a result of further separation of man from his creator. Consider strange diseases we are suffering from today. Consider unemployment rate that keeps increasing. Consider criminality, domestic violence, witchcraft, and satanic religiosity. I cannot exhaust the list. My time is up almost. By commanding us not to fear because God is with us, we are made to understand, ladies and gentlemen, that there is a relationship between fear and God's presence or God's absence. That there is a relationship between fear and the consciousness of God's permanent presence. There is a relationship between fear and consciousness of God's power. Ladies and gentlemen, interestingly, the same creator who says fear not calls us in Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 to fear him in order to get back to the path of wisdom. In the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 7, the same creator calls us to fear him and to give him glory as we await the hour of judgment. But since his command to us to not fear is justified by his presence, his call to us to fear him cannot be referring to fright or dread. The call is for us to reverence him, to respect him, to be mindful and conscious of his presence and power, and to behave accordingly. Ladies and gentlemen, there is neither need nor justification for fearing or being af afraid when we are with God. 
This is because according to 1 John chapter 4, verse 16 and 18, God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. The one who is afraid has not yet felt fully the presence of the Almighty within and without him. Ladies and gentlemen, no wonder then, Pastor Chancellor, no wonder as I drop the curtain down because I see people are looking at their watches. And I dare not allow the president to bring a paper to me here. No wonder that the graduating class of 2023 had chosen an unusual and sophisticated color, burgundy, to accompany their motto, fear not. The class prayerfully refused to choose the most popular colors in graduating ceremonies such as blue, gold, sapphire, green, pink, orange, etc. No, they chose a sophisticated color, burgundy, a color with a wide spectrum whose best display is obtained by combining five colors, namely red. So I mean red. Brown yellow, green, and blue. I wish I had time to describe this, but I will not. But suffice it to say, Pastor Chancellor in the house, that burgundy represents, among many other things, burning passion, energy, strength, determination, and being grounded. On the spiritual side, ladies and gentlemen, burgundy would symbolize rejoicing in the Lord. The blood of Jesus, burgundy has the color of blood. New wine and the cup of the new covenant. The graduating class of 2023 is saying, and listen to this as I end, ladies and gentlemen, the Helderberg College of Higher Education has led them to discover the savior of the universe through integration of faith and teaching and faith and service. That this has led them to fear God and no wonder they are growing in wisdom. They now know that whoever acknowledges the son as his personal savior has the father also who says fear not. They say that their color testifies to their redemption through the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Therefore, there is no condemnation for them who are in Christ Jesus, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set them free from the law of sin and death. Therefore, they shall ever remi remind themselves, Psalm 23, verse 4, that even if they walk through the valley of the shadow of death, they will fear no evil, for God is with them, his rod and his staff. It, they will comfort them. And the class of 2023 shall always remember the Deuteronomy chapter 28, 7 to 14, that their enemies will attack them, among other things, from one direction. But the Almighty God who is with them will scatter the enemies in seven directions. That the class members will plant and they will harvest. That they will lend, but they will not borrow in the name of Jesus Christ. This class is telling us through their color and motto that they will remember Joshua chapter 1 verse 5, that no one will be able to stand against them. They will remember Psalm 91 verses 7 to 14, that they will see thousands falling on one side and 10,000 on the other side. But it will not be their portion because God will appoint his angels to carry them on their wings so that their feet will not hurt a stone. Ladies and gentlemen, this class is telling us that they will remember Zechariah 2 verse 8, that whosoever touches them will be touching the apple of God's eye. They will remember Luke 10, 17, that even demons will submit to them because of the presence of the almighty God. So our graduating class 2023 are going out of the walls of this university, this college, without fear, for their God is with them. 
Their God will help them. Their God will strengthen them. Their God will uphold them. Yes, the sophisticated nature of this class color, we always urge them to adapt without compromise to win their battles with their knees rather than their knives, to conquer their enemies and competitors with persuasion rather than confrontation. That is what lifestyle these young people are saying we are going out, and they are saying adopt the same. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me now to sit down. Yes, I have gone beyond the... the time I was given, but my president is so gracious. Class, in your struggle, never forget that self is weakness, but Christ is strength. Self is sickness, but Christ is health. Self is fear, but Christ is love. Self is blindness, but Christ is light. Self is ignorance, but Christ is omniscience. Self is mob-mindedness, following whatever people are doing, but Christ is the way. Self is sinfulness, but Christ is holiness. Self is mortality, but Christ is immortality. Self is disgrace, but Christ is is grace. Ladies and gentlemen, I know the devil is listening to me. And as soon as you step out of the walls of this, this institution, with this wonderful motto and colors, he will start coming to you, quoting the scriptures to you, proving to you that you are wrong. He will tell you from Psalm 51 verse 5, and I will not mention others because of time. But he will be quoting scriptures saying, you were conceived in sin. You have to respond from scripture. Am I allowed to say this and sit down? You will quote 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, that in Christ I'm a new creature. He will quote Psalm 144, that your life is like a fleeting shadow. You tell him, 1 Corinthians 15, my immortal will soon put on immortality. He will quote Psalm 55, your acquaintances and friends will keep betraying you. You will respond from Psalm 27, that even if my mother and my father forsake me, God will pick me up. He will quote Romans 7, 17, that sin dwells around. And always want to do something in your life. And you will respond from Galatians 2.20 that you have been crucified with Christ. And you are no longer the one living, but Christ living in you. He says again in Genesis 4 that sin is crouching around you wanting to enter. But you will tell him from James chapter 4 verse 7 that I will resist the devil and he will flee away from me. He will quote Malachi 3.9 that you are living under a curse. And you will respond from Isaiah 54 verse 17 that no weapon forged against me shall prosper. Ladies and gentlemen, the devil will keep quoting to you that you are hard pressed on every side. You tell him from 2 Corinthians 4 that, but I'm not yet crushed. He will say you are perplexed. Tell him, but I'm not in despair. He will tell you you are persecuted. Tell him, but I'm not forsaken. He will tell you you are struck down, but you will tell him, but I'm not destroyed. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no fear in love. God is love. Fear not. Fear God, that creator and redeemer and sustainer and everlasting and omnipotent and omnipresent and omniscient and invincible and eternal who says, I will be with you. I will help you. I will sustain you. I will support you. Fear not. Fear fearing. Fear God. Thank you.
Chairman of Helderberg College of Higher Education Council, Dr. Paul Shongwe, Secretary of Helderberg College of Higher Education Council, Professor Charlene Reinecke. As Registrar of Helderberg College of Higher Education, I'm pleased to introduce to you 43 candidates who have completed all the requirements of their various programs as prescribed by the college. This is the 20th year that Helderberg College of Higher Education is conferring degrees based on its registration with the Department of Higher Education and Training, the accreditation by the Council on Higher Education, and the registration of the degrees on the National Qualifications Framework by the South African Qualifications Authority. With regard to the class of 2023, as registrar of this institution, I hereby verify that the students have fulfilled all the academic requirements of their relevant programs. There are eight candidates from the Faculty of Theology, 22 from the Faculty of Social Sciences and Education, and 13 from the Faculty of Business. With this 97th graduation ceremony on this campus, the 43 candidates will join the 3,204 that graduated from Helderberg College of Higher Education over the past 91 years, making a total of 3,246. They will also join the 31 from Union College and 32 from Spionkop College, the two predecessors of Helderberg College of Higher Education, making a grand total of 3,300. And nine. I call upon the chairman of the Helderberg College, Helderberg College of Higher Education Council. Thank you. By virtue of the authority vested in me as chairman of Helderberg College Council, I hereby declare that the candidates presenting themselves before this convocation today have, satisfacto have satisfactory completed all the requirements for their respective programs as determined by the college and accredited by the Council on Higher Education and the Adventist Accrediting Association. I now call upon the registrar to invite the candidates to present themselves. I now call upon the certificate candidates from the Faculty of Business. Higher Certificate in Office Management. Matthew Farmer. Rene Hartnick. Krista Yonk.
Olwam <laughs> Mtukonya. <laughs> Lydia Peary. Nicholas John Soter, graduate in absentia. I now call upon, upon the degree candidates from the Faculty of Business. <laughs> Bachelor of Commerce in Accounting. Simpako Nioni. Sorry, the end of the um, scroll. Um, yeah. Thanks. If we could just pass it down. Thank you. Sepepelo Velapi.
Bachelor of Business Administration in Management. Zati Chidzanja Nkoma. Viwe Nshona. Maxine van Rooyen. Uh, occasionally we have a candidate that receives an academic accolade. Now, in order to, you clap when I've said her name. Cum laude, Tia van Weyck. Olivia Flotman. Thank <laughs> you. 
I now call upon the degree candidates from the Faculty of Social Sciences and Education. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in Communication. This next candidate is very special to us here at Halderberg College of Higher Education because, because both of his parents work here, his mother as the QA uh, director and also the acting VP, Vice President of Academic Administration, and his father, who is the program coordinator in the Faculty of Theology as well as a lecturer there. Um, so that is Mrs. Gillian Apollos and Professor Eddie Apollos. I would like to call on the candidate now, cum laude, Jean Apollos. Theoniel Balisasa. Lorato Labata. Cum laude. Sholothelo Maleke.
Malaika Nkatingi. Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. <laughs> Marco Sezulu Nala. Ompa Ramachila. Marlene Simon. Cum laude, into causa sitole. Michaela van Kradenbach.
Bachelor of Education in Foundation Phase Teaching. Cum laude, Carmen Brits. Anshin Kasim. Magna Cum Laude, Jody Daniels. Cum laude, Stacy De Mornay. Benazir Hudson. Rainese McKenzie.
Amy Plykis. Cum laude, Tanya Rus. Cum laude, Tony Slimitz. Rhea Rosa Stalmierstep. Caitlin Stewart. Cum laude, Yolan Yolan van Kradenberg.
I now call upon the degree candidates from the Faculty of Theology. the Bachelor of Arts in Theology. Bongani Lejoane. Daniel Lont. Younger Magazi. Josh Martin. Nkosana Mava.
Mdudusi Ngobo. Cum laude, Johann Prinzlu. Luzuko Chacheka. Thank you. Greetings and good day. It gives me a great pleasure and honor to hand out our special awards for our graduates. Graduates. Um, I wish I could give all of you an award, but life's like that, so. We will celebrate the special ones. Award of Excellence at the 2023 graduation ceremony through his participation in spiritual activities for his faithfulness and exemplary behavior and having made a noteworthy contribution at Halderberg College of Higher Education, the Spirited Award goes to Daniel Lont. Award of Excellence at the 2023 graduation ceremony 
Through his faithful and reliable involvement in college activities, his industrious participation in the work opportunities on campus, and having made a noteworthy contribution at Haldeberg College of Higher Education, the Laborious Award goes to Johann Prinzlu. Award of Academic Excellence, graduating magna cum laude with 84% and having achieved the highest average of the 2023 senior class of Helderberg College of Higher Education, the Studia Award goes to Jody Daniels. <laughs> Through excellent academic excellence, exceptional leadership skills, commendable citizenship, a positive influence, spiritual and overall leadership, made a noteworthy contribution at Haldeberg College of Higher Education and is therefore awarded the Dictus Award, Yolen van Kraden. <laughs> Earlier this year, the Faculty of Theology received a donation, and the donation was meant to encourage academic excellence in the Faculty of Theology. And the faculty was given liberty to decide how to, uh, to, award, to give, make this award. A few weeks ago, we decided as a faculty that it would go to the person with the highest mark at graduation in the Faculty of Theology. And so with thankfulness to the donor, and perhaps with um, a desire to see others contributing to this fund as well for, to make it sustainable in future, future it is my privilege to call upon Johann Prinzlow. Come and receive this award. ESCOM is nearly upon us, but we will continue. Thank you. After all that explosive joy, a moment of solemnity. It is esteemed that I now charge you with the responsibility that accompanies the distinction and privilege 
of receiving a qualification from Helderberg College of Higher Education. We read in Job 28 verse 28, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. Thus, true wisdom grows out of a relationship with him who will enable you to develop to the fullest life possible. We who have served you at Helderberg College of Higher Education will gain our greatest sense of fulfillment and satisfaction knowing that Jesus Christ is guiding your life and service. You now have the enviable position as a holder of a higher education qualification on the African continent. Your obligations to the church and society are therefore serious responsibilities. I charge you to always aim, as described in Philippians 4 verse 8, as being true, fair, honest, pure, lovely, gracious, and admirable in these serious times. To live lives fully devoted to God and goodness and to have concern and compassion for your fellow human beings. To be true witnesses in the world to the one who has created and redeemed you. To seek justice, to seek friendship and laughter, sharing with others the kindness and sympathy of heaven. I also charge you to continue to search for truth and knowledge, to add to the common store of knowledge, to speak in love and compassion, to be diligent in your further studies and labor, to work in wisdom and to make the most of the time you have. We honor you today as esteemed daughters and sons of Helderberg College of Higher Education. This institution now sends you forth to represent the worthy ideals of your alma mater and to serve mankind wherever and whenever you will be needed. May God, our Heavenly Father, bless you day by day. May Jesus Christ, your Savior, be your constant source of encouragement, strength, and motivation. And may the Holy Spirit always comfort and guide you into all truth. I'll ask the class president to join us at the front as I'm going to do the charge.